Hello and welcome to a brand new series here on Steven Plays. Today, Mallory and myself are jumping into the 2010 hit Limbo. Before we get too far into this, I want to say a quick thank you and a huge shout out to all of our Patreon producers. Their names are scrolling up on the screen now. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you're interested in learning more about Patreon and the perks that come along with that, how you can support Mal and myself, you can click on the link in the description box down below, or there will be a card appearing on screen shortly. So, Limbo. That seems like an odd choice. It's a five-year or six-year-old game. I don't know what year it is. This game came <laughs> out. This game came out in 2010, and it was developed by a company called Playdead, as you can see on screen. Playdead presents. Playdead is very interesting because Limbo was their first game. Turns out, it was a huge hit. Originally designed to be an exclusive for the Xbox 360, Limbo has now been released on pretty much everything imaginable. I'm assuming that they'll be releasing to TI-83 very soon. Limbo is a fantastic game. It's also a game that I have never finished. Mao, have you ever played this? I think I loaded it up once and you noticed and you were like, you can't do that, we're gonna do a Let's Play of it someday. Yeah, I probably <laughs> yeah I probably said that. Limbo is a game that's been on my radar for a long time, but it's a game that I have never gotten around to playing. Uh, a few years back, I did put a little time into it, maybe maybe an hour at most. Uh, I probably haven't played any more than that. And Mao has played, you know, as she said, very very little of the game. The reason that Limbo has come back onto my radar is that Playdead released their first game, Limbo, in 2010. They didn't release any other games until this year, when they released a game called Inside. Whenever Inside came out, they did a first 20 on it, you may recall, a few weeks ago, and I really enjoyed it. And it rem it reminded me that, oh my god, I haven't finished Limbo. So because of that, I have decided that we are going to be doing back-to-back -back Let's Plays of Limbo and Inside. Um, if you've never played these games before, then join us on this journey to learn about what makes them so incredible to everyone. And if you've played them before, then I guess experience Mal and myself's uh, reactions to these, honestly, pieces of art. These are games that qualify as art. I really feel like these two Let's Plays are going to feel very similar to Journey. Um, it's kind of an artsy piece, and I'm really looking forward to, to playing them. We're going to be doing 30-minute format. Um, Mao is going to be in charge on this first episode. So Mao, whenever you're ready, press, press a button and, and start us off. Just hit uh, start new game. We are playing this on the PC using an Xbox 360 controller because I know there's going to be someone that wants to know. And what you see is what you get. This is how the game begins. Do you, Mal, do you happen to recall any of this? Nope. None. You may have to, like, move or press a button. There you go. You're starting to wake up. So, one of the cool things was uh, when Limbo was in development, everyone was talking about its art style. Everyone was talking about what they decided to do with this, this minimalist, silhouetted, grayscale look. And uh, that's something that never changed. That was, that was on their radar from the very, very beginning. Whenever I played. It. Whenever Playdead was working on this game, that's something they really wanted to to show. I like going left in video games, like on Donkey Kong Country. I'm like always running left to see. Just to see what's there. And I ran and I broke something. I don't know what it was. I have I have faint memories of this game, but once again, I've never finished it. Uh, Mao and I are going to be doing our usual thing of taking turns. So Mao is in charge for this episode. I'll be playing the next one, and uh, these games are very short. So they're, they're not going to be around for very long. It's just going to take a single-digit episodes to finish off, um... Oh. <laughs> Those are spikes. Those are spikes. It's going to take single-digit episodes to finish off Limbo and single-digit episodes to finish off Inside. But, um, you know, both of the games have been described as works of art. We've been big fans of, of artsy games, uh, Shadow of the Colossus, Journey, and uh, I think it'll be really fun to uh, to show this on the channel as well. There should be some button to grab. Yeah. What button is that, Mal? That's the uh, X button. Okay. A probably jumps. <laughs> Just going out on a limb here. Whee! Oh, wasn't sure if that would work. Now, 
I've, I've tried to stay as spoiler free as possible on this game and just um not read up too much about it so I, I don't know how the game ends I don't know really anything past the first hour and even that first hour is going to be blurry for me um but I'm assuming that the game has water kill me yes everything everything will kill you um, I'm assuming that the game has some ties to the concept of Limbo, which is a, um, how would you describe Limbo? It's a religious belief that uh, I think several religions share, where you get caught... Um, between heaven be and hell? Between heaven and hell. And I don't, I don't know for certain that the game is based on that, but I, I feel like that's one of the central ideas. Um, I also, and this is just going based on what I've, what I vaguely remember, it has something to do with, like, you're, you're, you're a boy and you're, like, maybe searching for your sister or something? That's more than I know. I pretty much only know how it looks. Like, and I don't even know where I got that from. But that's just something I feel like I always remembered. But, you know, don't take, don't take what I said for it, uh, to, don't take what I said to heart because... By a boat. You know, all we have so far is what we've seen. I can drag the boat. <laughs> you, you can crush yourself. I mean, it's... Oh, I probably actually needed to do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think so. The, um... It, it was recognized for its art style, of course, because I can't... I can't think of any game that, that really went in this direction before Limbo. Um, but also the gameplay. Uh, the, uh, the gameplay is very dark. Um, and I, I don't actually know what the game is rated. Presumably, maybe T. It's, um, you know, at times very violent. Oh. Speak of the devil. It is at times very violent. <laughs> it is at times very violent. Mallory has discovered some bear traps. She's given herself Whee! the distance. You're going for distance. I missed. You're going for death. Yeah, I mean, Limbo is a game that's been around for you know so so long now that I'm sure a lot of people. Running start. Um. You'll get it someday, honey. I believe in you. Uh, Limbo's been around for for so long now that I feel like most people have played it. But if you haven't, then I'm really glad that you're on this journey with us because we are some of the few. Limbo did so well. I don't remember exactly how many awards it won, but it's it's it is preposterous. Um, it did it did quite well. Did you pull that up to you and then like walk into it? I felt like it jumped at me. It jumped. It at startled you? me. You're doing fine. Just you know, pull that towards you and then get out of there so it doesn't jump at you. What's your plan here? Oh, do you see what you need I, to do? Yeah, I missed. Well, you know. I'm sure it'll be fine. There you go. That looks safe. I did it. You did it. Hooray. Man. Dead thing in bear trap. I remember when I played this a while ago thinking how much I really wanted to see how how it ended. You know, what happens. So I'm really excited that we finally get a chance to do that. There's some pebbles coming at you. That sounds bad. Yeah, that's uh, it's never a good thing. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That was close. That was really close. So anyone who's uh, new to this game has probably already realized that uh, death is a frequent re recurring theme you are going to die a lot um, and that's true uh, the game is 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 kind of unrelenting but also it's not like do you want to be the guy levels of frustration the I think the the idea really is about um, you know showing off different ways of, of destroying the the key character and then after that um, you know restarting you not not so far away so you are Oh god. 
You're really trying to surf on that box. You can't. But unfortunately, you never learn to swim. Is it possible to drag that box backwards? Why would I? I gotta well, cross the lake. Is that what you have to do? Or is there a string back there? Because there was a string back there, I thought. I mean, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah, but I hate string. Right? Am I wrong? That string? Yeah. Can you can you grab that? Yeah, you can. Look at me. I'm the best. I'm the best. You probably have to maybe... Can you swing to the, the thing on the right? Mal and I will also be helping each other, um, you know, get through this. There is... There's some puzzle elements, and I'm probably going to need more help than Mal will. But, shoot, if I feel like I can offer some some help, then I feel useful for once. Mal's normally the puzzle guru. I really like, um... It's kind of, it's just kind of a minor thing to note, but I really like the run animation on the kid. Because he, I don't know, he's very, um... Kind of very goofy, like his head's kind of hanging on. Oh, there's something up there, Mal. I know. I was trying to get there. Well, why'd you jump off? I fell. But no, you grabbed it. You definitely grabbed the thing. You just let go. There you go. Climb up. Should you... I think you have to climb... No, well, maybe you're fine. I don't know. Keep swinging. You got like this thick foliage. I think you needed to climb up the rope a little bit first. I guess. I don't actually know what's up there. I think it's one of those things that you stomped on at the beginning. Yeah. There you go. Now swing over. You should be fine. I wouldn't climb all the way up now. Like halfway. Yeah. I'm a swing it. Watch me bring it to the next level. I broke it again. Altitude is attitude. You got an achievement for that. So you went out. Of, so there's probably going to be a few things like that. If you go out of your way, you'll be fine. I'm going to go out on a limb and say you probably can't just fall. That's what I was thinking. Because judging by the fact that, like, so far everything, like, kills you, I, I would say that everything will continue to kill you. Look what I did. I think you probably have to push that in the water. Unless you want to drown again. I don't know. Maybe you want to... <laughs> maybe you're interested in drowning one more time. Is that enough? What, you're getting the box, too? The box. Now, I don't think... Now, I don't think the box... You know what? You do you. You do you. I believe in you. I believe in your box-pushing abilities. Oh, look at that. Clever. Clever. You're gonna end up drowning anyway. There you go. There you go. I don't know if you needed the box, but you got there. Skip. Skip. Are you skipping to deal with the impending doom that you feel that you are facing? There's a bear trap. There's a bear trap in the tree. God, the only thing I really... Yep, I was going to say, the only thing I really remember... <laughs> no. Is I remember is that spider. No, it's just chilling. Go, go say hi. No. Yeah, um... Spider bad. J <laughs> which is what everyone has thought forever. Spider bad. So you gotta get that bear trap. This is actually one area where I can help because I actually remember this. You're gonna go all the log, way back. Log. Log is gone. So your plan was to drag the log for three it's miles. log. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Stimpy. <laughs> Come here, bear trap. Yeah, see, what you have to do is you have to find the Air Jordan's power-up. Yeah. Combine it with the trampoline item, and then you'll get you'll get right there. Whoa! Close one! He missed. I actually... I remember this, so I'm gonna see if you can figure it out. It's actually probably best that you decided to start this off. Um, because you'll get a chance to try and solve some of these puzzles yourself. I feel like there's nothing. Uh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. There is nothing. What do I do? I'm just gonna give you- I'm just gonna give you a, a minute or so to see if you can figure it out. Did 
you hear the clank? Yeah. Now you get it? Yeah. You get it! Yeah, you did. See, you didn't need my help. Come on, spider. <laughs> you, get, you gotta wait there long enough for him to... Oh, snap! It's a spider! You know, just don't... I, I, I honestly expected when you jumped, I was like, <laughs> she's gonna jump right into it. Spider! Spider! I think you're gonna have to taunt... Yeah, it's not gonna hit it, I think. You're gonna have to hold on to the item, and then... Oh, that spider's pissed! Oh, it's got more legs, so take them all out. <laughs> you just have to do this eight times. Ow, ow, god, ow, who are you? <gasps> oh, that spider came fast for you! That leg was longer than the other one. Oh, that was great. I loved it. Do you have to do all the legs again, or just the one leg? I don't know. I, every time you jump over that, I, I honestly expect you to fall into the trap. How many legs does he have? Three. Three legs. We won't make everyone watch this. We'll cut ahead. All right, you got this, Mal. You got this. You can do it. You, Mal, you gotta give him time. You're so on edge. Did it. Now what? Is, now what? Is I mean, he I, after me? I only... It runs away, gone? and it also broke the bear trap. I don't remember everything, Mal. I just remember key things. The spider is very memorable. Like, you're only a little ways into this game, and you encounter this big, scary spider, and everything's a silhouette. And honestly, the silhouette is cool because it's an art style, sure, but it's also a mechanic in the game. Because they use the silhouettes to hide things. You stepped on the bear trap at the beginning. You jumped into the spike trap. Like, you did all these things because you didn't even really know what to expect. Is that web? Yeah, I hear spider noises. I'm stuck. Oh, snap. Yeah, I don't remember all this. This is great. It's so horrifying. No, spider. No. Are you dead? Maybe you're not dead. Maybe this is okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mal, you're so cute as a cocoon. Yeah, you're like, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm gonna get out. Okay, so that is part of it. Anyone who's never experienced Limbo is probably... Starting to understand why it won so many awards. And there's been a few more games that have that have approached things like this since then, but 2010 was a very different time. I don't think it was it was far before that. Maybe it was after, but I think it was before. I thought that would be bad. That we uh that we had um Braid also, which was another huge indie hit. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to really Oh, you can do kind of big hops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I think you slid. I did. And not into home plate. Unless home plate is a uh, crevice in the earth. <laughs> Mallory, really? <laughs> also, I really hope... I, usually we have commenters that keep track of deaths. Please keep track of deaths. This should, That'll be a little fun competition between Mallory and myself. Okay. 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 There you go. <laughs> Yeah, someone keep track of Mal's death and my my deaths, and we'll see what happens. You're doing good. You're doing good. You're jumping. Perfect. I actually don't know how you get out of this cocoon. I don't remember this part. I remember the spider, but I don't remember the getting wrapped up thing. Don't get crushed. I'm, I'm actually curious now what that death animation would have been. It just conks you on the head and you slump over. What I thought. Do 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 do. Actually, Indiana Jones was not. We I don't think it was ever on the rock. I don't remember. You're doing good. Just don't fall down. Oh, spider's back. God, what a great, what a great feeling. 
Yeah, it's going okay. It's going all right. <laughs> oh man, that spider's like, what's up, bro? You mind if I pierce you? And you're like, yeah, I'd prefer not. Oh, you broke free. It looked like your eyes were on the back of your head. What is that? Spider web bit. Is it? I think so. Oh. <laughs> That's a friend. That's Jerry. He's just hanging out. Did did you like it? Oh. oh. That was a heck of a trap. <laughs> Pull this lever. You'll be fine. Nah, I'm just kidding. Ooh, nice one. I did it. Nice dodge. You did well. Alley-oop. Looking good. You're in the clear. It's a nice little field. Nothing can go wrong, Mal. No spiders. No spiders? Just got- you have some platforming to accomplish, but I think you can handle that. I know the- as far as the platforming goes, it feels a little, um... Flighty or something. You know, it's, it's not- Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh! It's not quite like Mario. It's not as on point. It's a little... Little skatey. But not bad. Okay, so... Jump? No. Poor Mal. There you go. You're doing great! You're handling this, this like a champ! That was close. I honestly thought that jump was a little early, but you made it. Wow. You nice proud one. of me? Yeah, I am. That was some, uh, that was some quick thinking techs. Skip. Hop. Jump. Skip. 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 You're just happy to never have to see that spider again? I hope so. Oh. <laughs> Maybe spoke a little too soon. <laughs> no. I'll go take my chances with the other stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go get killed by a boulder. Because dealing with the spider is a price worse than death. You're going to have to go over eventually. Flip Looks that, like you can just sneak flip, by flip it. Flip that back up. Hey. Oh. Hey. Interesting. Yeah, this- I don't remember this stuff. Hey, jerk, get back here. Cool, this is awesome. So, like, I knew I was gonna get to experience, you know, this- I knew, like, the- the- maybe- Oops. <laughs> I just got hit by a flaming tire. I knew that, like, I'd probably know the first third of the game or something, but- Okay, so I can't jump the flaming tire. But it looks- it actually looks like I'm gonna get to relive more than I remembered because I don't... You know, it's not familiar. <laughs> I think you took a swim. Yeah. There's a lot of tires down there. Screw you, tire. I'm going home. <laughs> I don't want a Firestone tire at all. Does that fire hurt you? No. You weren't chancing it. You were dancing on it. I saw that. So there... Okay, I really don't remember this. There's people here. And, I, you know, I'm trying to tie this into... The idea of... Of Limbo. Um, the... I guess, theological idea. And I don't know a whole lot about it. So, I'm assuming that maybe these are like denizens of hell? Or something? Or maybe they're also just other people stuck in limbo. Oh god! Ouch. Um, one thing I, I will ask of the uh, of the viewers, for anyone who is interested in in commenting and talking about it, um, you know, do do try to stay spoiler free from the. Okay, so uh, that didn't work out. Uh, do try to stay spoiler free, if you can, um, just because. Oh, they got you on the flip side. Uh, just because there's going to be a lot of people, ourselves included, um, playing through this, and they want to experience the game as it comes. Uh, so if you want to speculate, that's fine. Just make it make it clear in your comment that you are <laughs> speculating and not spoiling anything. Huh. 
I, you have the right idea, Mallory. Definitely. You just gotta be careful. There you go. Oh, Mallory. that was a bad idea. Whoa. Okay, so, uh... I would, I, I would, yeah, I would try the rope. Rope! <laughs> <laughs> nice jumping. That was good. Nope, not climbing up there. They took the rope. They did. Might be using it to hang themselves with. Seems to be a lot of lynching going on here in Limbo. I hear some... Oh... Take my chances down here. Actually, I think you might just be able to jump. Just go for it. Nope. Okay, well, you know. Oh, Mao, is that a log? Where? The, that thing in front of you. Is that a log? Just push it. I think you gotta keep moving. That, that spider waits for no one. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Yee. Oh. Yep, that was my thinking too. <laughs> well, shoot, um, <laughs> now I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think I think you had the right idea. I think you needed a running start. You got there. Nice. Good job. Um. Oh man. <laughs> God. Oh. Oh, it didn't make it. Oh god. You knew. You knew that was gonna happen. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> That was spectacular. I loved that. And you and you dealt with the and you dealt with the problem. And now you get to move on to this next section of the forest, which is of course bright and sunshiny. I See, mean, maybe. Can can you feel the sunshine? No. <laughs> um Look at that. I think your spider days are, are over though. I sure hope so. I think that's I think that's the end of that. No spider. Oh hey! Oh no, you you jerks, what did you do? <laughs> oh it's only got it's only got one leg. I think you're gonna need its help somehow. I don't know exactly how, but somehow. I think it's safe. Jump on it. See if that does anything. Oh, Mao, maybe you can... Oh. Maybe you can drag its uh, leg. Is that possible? Oh, oh. God. Oh, it's twitching. Oh my god. It, ah, yeah, I don't remember this. This is fantastic. Um, can you pick up the leg? You have to roll the body? I think I have to roll the body. Yeah, roll that body. How fascinating. At the beginning of this episode, the spider was a foe. But by the end, he sacrificed himself so you could get over... I mean, he didn't. No, he didn't. He, he tried he, to kill He me. just died. He tried to kill you up until the bitter end. But now he's a platform. And that actually, Mal, is where we're going to end. You can just stop moving. Um, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Mal, what's your initial impressions? I really love the art. Mm -hmm. It's slightly horrifying. It's kind of grotesque. Yeah. But in a beautiful way. Yeah. With I, everything. Yeah. No, I, I completely agree. I, I, I completely agree. It's, it's such a unique thing that stands on its own, and I'm really excited to see where it goes. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to join us next time when I'm in control here on Stephen and Mal Play Limbo.